Hey, this is Heather with Ventura Wild. Uh, I just wanted to welcome you to another short video about um, my own backyard and something that I think is really awesome uh, that I want to share with you uh, in my adventures just in exploring my own area here in uh, Ojai and Ventura. So I'm going to just pick this up and show you that we have a blossoming ceanosis plant right here with these gorgeous blossoms. Um, everything is just popping with this lovely color of blue. And so um, today I'm going to show you how to make soap from the ceanosis blossoms. And if you've done Ventura Wild before, you've probably seen us do this before. And it's just one of our favorite things that we get from nature that we get to share with kids. Uh, it's easy, it's available. And uh, one of the things that we show the kids when we find a ceanothus plant is that they can easily identify it with this little term. Whenever you see these blossoms uh, along a trail or from the car or wherever you are, um, you just say, see, I know this. And that reminds you that the plant is called ceanothus. Um, so before we uh, harvest a little bit of the blossoms and I show you how to make the soap, I want to remind you guys that um, they are a native plant to our area and so other creatures depend on these blossoms for nectar and um, it's really important for us as humans uh, to be respectful of that and we don't want to take all of the blossoms. Uh, we want to make sure there's plenty for the bees and the other uh, insects that are pollinators. And uh, we also just want to make sure that we're using it respectfully and being gentle with the plant when we are harvesting. We always just in our minds or you can out loud just say thank you plant for sharing a little bit of your blossoms with us. Uh, and some people even give something in return. They might give a little piece of their hair they might um, offer something that they uh, value in back to the plant uh, from themselves just so that they uh, take a moment to acknowledge that they're taking something uh, from nature. So I am giving a little bit of my hair uh, to this plant and then I'm going to go ahead and collect. And um, as I'm looking around for the right blossoms to choose, I'm also being really careful of the creatures that are buzzing around these blossoms because they sting. Um, there are honeybees out here and little wasps and different things and so they always just slowly go up and before you pick you really notice what um, you are doing. So I'm going to show you right here. I'm noticing and I'm pinching off a little bit at a time. So you can see I'm just pinching off a little bit and I'm putting it into my bowl of water. I'm going to pinch a little bit more from here and then I'm going to move to a different spot. I'm not going to take all the blossoms from one place. Um, so I might come over to this side and just take a little bit more. And I know I don't need a whole lot so I'm just going to put my blossoms in that area and I'm going to put uh, the camera down so that I can do this work. So. Now that I have a bunch of blossoms in my bowl, I'm going to dip them down in, maybe clean them off a little bit if they're dusty. And then I've got all of these blossoms here in my hand. They're wet. I can even pick up some of the water into my palm. And I'm just going to pretty briskly rub my hands together. And you can see I get this beautiful purple lather. It's so gorgeous. It smells really good. I can lather my hands really well. Remember, you're supposed to sing happy birthday twice if you are lathering and cleaning your hands off. Um, that is the rule for getting rid of any viruses or uh, germs. And once that is clean, 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 I've got the cleanest hands now and they smell really good, then I can just rinse that off. If I'm out in the field, I don't have a bowl of water with me, I um, will just shake my hands off next to me and then pat them 
on my jacket or on my pants uh, because I'm out in nature. And so now you can see that I have this bowl and if I wanted to make something like shampoo, I would go ahead and rub, 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 rub a whole bunch into that bowl until I had the right consistency that I could then take in and um, use in my hair. I could just continue using that bowl to wash my hands um, a couple times and then I can pour this bowl back out and offer the plant a little bit of water um, with all of those blossoms right there too. So now I'm all done. I have clean hands and thank you for joining me and I hope that you uh, look up some other great videos that Venture Wild will be uh, offering up in the near future. Bye!